All right, what is poppin' squad? It's your boy Armani. We're back with another video. Get in here, get in here. We got to get into some things, all right? So um, this Joe Budden story is a story that just keeps on giving, okay? So as you guys know, Joe Budden has been getting into it with Drake, where Drake is getting into it with Joe Budden, um, based upon his take on Drake's latest project, For All The Dogs. So in that, Drake um, shot, I mean, well, Joe Budden, Threw out a little dig, a little diss to, you know, our boy Kai Sinat. Kai Sinat his, gets hit with a stray. Kai Sinat ends up responding to Joe Budden. So we're going to listen to what Joe Budden had to say. I mean, what Kai Sinat had to say. And then I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on this whole thing. All right. So let's get into it. Um, Let's go. Let's okay. Ride. I don't give a f about you and Kai Sinat. That's going to sound like hate. It is. It's not hate. It's not hate. It is. I, I miss the Drake that was rapping but for the uh, rappers. I miss the Drake that when he dropped, the rappers hit him. Not these little f***ing kids. I don't give a f*** about you and Kai Sinat. That's going to sound like hate. It is. It is. It's not hate. It is. It is. Go find some is your f***ing age. You uh, the... Let me tell you something, Joe. Yo, Joe. Let me tell you something, Joe. Hey, look. Hey, look, Joe. You know why my, my, my mouth was like all over the place with this one, Joe? Because I be minding my mother fucking business, my nigga. Mm. And somehow, ah. I always catch a fucking stray. Wow. I did my research on the nigga, including my name and everything he had to say. The nigga is always saying something bad about me! Bro, this nigga, this man, we talk about the same man who said he was ecstatic to see me get arrested and go to jail for the shit that happened in August. The nigga said he was ecstatic to see me get arrested. I miss the Drake that when he... Here's the thing. I'm gonna just be honest with you. I'm just gonna cut it because I feel like I keep coming back around to this conversation and it's just time for me to say it. I personally feel like Joe Budden is a hater. I, as a person that, you know, kind of follow Joe, I, I've been following Joe since like 2017 and I was a hu huge super fan and all of these things. But my thing is, as time went on and as he's grown in the pod media space, um, I've been becoming less and less of a fan of Joe Budden, not because he's not talented, not because his content is not great. Um, but just because I feel like it's one of those things where never meet your idols because they will disappoint you. I feel like Joe Budden does not like anybody that poses a view threat, engagement threat, algorithm threat, interview threat, engagement threat to him. You know what I'm saying? On top of the fact that you may be a younger guy or something like that. But I just personally feel like Joe Budden feels like he is the gatekeeper of podcasting. He said this before on Clubhouse. Um, and I feel like he really don't want to see, he really doesn't like competition and he will shit on anybody that, um, starts getting numbers. Kai Sana is probably, it's probably hotter than academics, more trendy with less controversy. You know, as far as like people would sit with him, people rock with him. He's Gen Z, he's entertaining numbers is crazy, super viral everywhere he goes. And I feel as though, um, and he's been ranked as media personalities in like top five. You know, Complex, I believe, ranked him somewhere in the top five, top ten for sure. And Joe Budden, I feel like Joe Budden, you're hating on him. You know what I mean? The guy makes a lot of noise. The guy does not have to say controversial, colorful uh, things to get trending and go viral. Celebrities sit with him. His aesthetic is cool. It's kind of like this young kid that sits on Twitch in this kind of huge mansion, but it's like really like dirty, but it's probably really clean. You know what I mean? And I just feel like as the... As the older generation, y'all can't, y'all shouldn't be hating on the new guys coming up. And I feel like Joe Budden is a little bit of hater. And he knew it was going to sound like hate. And it is hate because he's over there with Kai Sanat. And it's not just that Drake or any of these artists go over there with Kai Sanat is the problem. The reason why Kai Sanat's name is being brought up is because everybody goes over there with Kai Sanat. You've seen Offset over there dancing. I, I Spice has been over there. Like a lot of people go to that platform and he gets hell of engagement. You know what I mean? And I do feel like 
He's right. Why, why is it that you always bring Kai Sinat's name up and say that you're happy, you hope he goes to jail and all these things because of the viral of Times Square situation with the PlayStations? I just feel like if I was Kai, I would believe that Joe Budden is a hater. And I listen, I listen to what people say. Joe Budden was, you know, he, he was laughing at other rappers that tried to become podcasters that couldn't do it. Um, he talked about how he's the gatekeeper of podcasting. And he's got to see who's coming up and who's not coming up. I do feel like he feels like this is his space and he is not going to let people in it. And he's definitely not going to support any other male. You know what I mean? Straight male. That's got numbers. If you don't come through kissing his butt or, you know, showing him major love and shout outs, I believe that Joe Budden will hate on you. You know what I mean? And I believe he's definitely hating on Kai Sinai. That's why for me, I've kind of got turned off by Joe Budden. I feel like if you're a woman, Joe Budden will probably support support you more. But if you're a man behind the microphone and you're doing numbers, Joe Budden will definitely start throwing you shade. You know what I mean? I feel like if he's not throwing you shade, you haven't made it on his radar yet. But once you get to a point where you start making it and people start messing with your content and getting on your platforms and shouting you out, he will find a problem with you and he will start trying to downplay your existence as a podcaster or as a personality, uh, especially in this new media space. So for that, I do think that Joe Budden is probably one of the biggest haters. And it's really unfortunate because, you know, a lot of people are like that in this business, in the entertainment business. Like you will see people, they don't want to let it go when they see younger people coming up or new talent they always try to like either like steal your sauce or they try to like, you know, blackball you or gatekeep. And I don't understand that gatekeeper thing because here's the thing. I know a lot of niggas out here in LA think that they gatekeeping. You can't gatekeep nothing. You know what I mean? And like that's when niggas be trying to act like they gatekeeping, that's what makes me go. Like when you think that you like kicking me out or holding me out like of something, that's when I I I, I start going crazy because who do you think you are to feel like, you know, you, it's only you and that's it. Nigga, it doesn't end. It doesn't begin or end with you. So there will be new niggas, old niggas for the rest of time. You know what I mean? So enjoy your time in the space, but you're not here forever. You know what I'm saying? And I, and it's just unfortunate that, you know, some of these older guys, like you think they should be kind of competing and battling with their peers. You shouldn't be dissing Kai Sinat. You know what I mean? Some of you niggas should be on TV or something somewhere. You know, a lot of these niggas be trying to like compete and battle backwards. Shouldn't y'all be like on to the next thing? Creating like keep leading the way? Shouldn't you start getting awarded for stuff at this point? Instead of like hating on the next niggas coming up because their engagement is good. So I don't know. I think Kai Sanat is right. You know, stay, stay out the way. Joe is definitely a hater when it comes to that particular person. And I kind of feel like it's trash and um, it's unfortunate, but what do you guys think? Do you guys think Joe Budden's a hater or do you think that he was just making an example? Um, what do you guys, do you guys like Kai Sinat? Do you think Kai Sinat is good? Do you think he's trash? Um, so let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Okay. Peace out. Oh, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel as well.